So by seeing the crazy amount of support I had on my last video, I mean, I only owe it to you guys, man. You guys got me to my goal of a thousand subscribers and definitely even beat that too. I set that goal like a long time ago, but you guys really freaking killed it. And a lot of you guys did add me on Switch, which we're definitely going to get into any type of games on there. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to hit you with my in-depth analysis on the multiplayer of Modern Combat Blackout for the Nintendo Switch. You know how much I love the Nintendo Switch! What's going on YouTube? It is your boy QKG and just because you guys showed so much love on that last video I at least owed you guys a little bit more in depth on this video because usually with my reviews I like to keep it short and sweet just so you can get a good idea of what it is But I actually want to show you guys why I've been enjoying the multiplayer so much So I'm gonna hit you guys up with an in-depth analysis on the multiplayer because there was still a ton of questions in the comments So I wanted to make sure I covered most of the stuff that was in there and as far as the campaign goes because a lot of people were asking about that if you look at the campaign and the way it's set up Honestly, if you're just gonna buy the game for its campaign, nah fam, I would definitely not do it because if you see the way it's set up, that's just the first section, the second level, and then when you go to the third level, you can literally see that you'll have maybe, I would say total maybe eight campaign missions on each map, but then you have the spec ops mode that you actually see at the bottom here that you can actually do to where it's like drop in an area, kill like 30 enemies, get five headshots, get two multi-kills, that kind of thing, and it'll have like a preset weapon for you, or it'll even have like a uh, like a certain, certain goal at the end of the stage. So it's literally just something to mess around with, but honestly, if you were to buy this game for the single player, I would definitely not do it, because this game is definitely not catered towards the single player. So another thing someone asked about were microtransactions, and I'm actually happy to say, this is it. There is no gun shop, there is none of that crap in here. And then this is all cosmetic stuff. So when you get these crates, because you actually get these coins by playing the game, the little eagle coins, you can get a weapon camo, a kill sign, a weapon trinket, a mask, and body armor. So it's literally just, it's just cosmetic stuff. That's it. There are no secret weapons in there. There are no overpowered weapons in there. Just cosmetic, man. So that was something I was happy to see. Oh, they even got a camo in here. <laughs> let, me, let me go ahead and get the camo real quick. So literally, it's just a camo. That's it. It's just a freaking camo. So that I was really pleasantly surprised with. I would not want a weapon shop, especially if I'm paying uh, $20 for this game. Um, a lot of, maybe this was at the talks at Game Loft because they want to make it seem to where it's a little bit more polished in a way not to where they can just dump in weapons and it's constant microtransactions down your throat because a lot of gamers do not like that stuff and if this game was pay to win i'm pretty sure everybody would be complaining about it as well so there's also the squads method too so you can actually squad up with some friends which most likely i'll end up doing with you guys is just forming up a squad and we can run in and just run into a couple squad games here and there um i haven't tried it yet i don't know if it puts you in a regular um regular multiplayer queue or if it has its own like setup so i'm not sure how that'll go because the community on the game a hey, fire flux shout out to you the community on the game is still i'm not gonna say it's like super super small but their matchmaking is definitely weird there are times i get matched up with a ton of people then i get matched up with like five of them then the next game we start ton of people ton of people ton of people then just five people so it really just depends and i don't know if it's like a matchmaking issue or what but that is one thing that I've been running into with the game. But for the most part, I have been running into a lot of full lobbies. And they pretty, they really do fill up pretty quick. And all this stuff, it's set per weapon. So it's not like you can just get all the attachments for every single weapon. And you're good to go for just that one weapon. And it's good for everything else. You have to get each attachment for each weapon. So I can't just use one weapon, get all the attachments, and boom. I can just slap them on everything else. I was kind of winging it when I said that, so I wanted to make sure I made that perfectly clear. Um, and then as you go through the game, you're going to unlock different, way more different weapons. And as you can see, I'm going to go forward. For this, I have to unlock. I can't wait to get that gun. That gun looks dope. But as you can see, you can't buy this stuff. Like, I, there's no way that I can actually buy it. I actually have to put in work just to get it. Yeah, I'm almost done with the SMGs. Your boy was putting in work last night. So for that... 
and then also there's going to be like different classes that you can pick from so for an example this is on the recon class but if you switch the classes it has a different weapon per class so it's either sniper support uh bounty hunt whoa bounty hunter this is kind of new um i don't remember getting this one script oh my god like this one looks oh my god that looks dope so as you see as you keep going forward you unlock different different classes like i don't i haven't even unlocked uh x morph yet and then oh my god man that's kind of crazy and this looks like this is the last one to unlock holy crap okay let's just uh let's select this one for right now let's see let's see what we get so i'm not sure what that weapon is right there but let me see where that that weapon is actually tiered at holy crap dude this even got more in depth i didn't even know this dude look at all this crap okay so uh <laughs> okay all right so what's interesting is that bro i didn't even know that there was even more weapons i thought that there were those four and that was it i completely forgot there were nine in this game so now i have to even put in more time to actually show you dude that just made that just made this game even more dope so even if you were just to play multiplayer for a solid for a solid long like a solid few months there's still a lot of stuff to do there's still a lot of guns to try out there's still a lot of guns to master if i was to actually do reviews on these guns because i used to do them way back in the day it would take so long for me to do this if you guys do want to see gun reviews let me know in the comment section down below because i used to do so many gun reviews for kills on mercenary i did every single gun in that and that's crazy man that's really really crazy i did not know that um there is customization as well like you get your armor pieces here um and then also you can change out like the camos on your weapon um over here which like i said these are all cosmetic they don't really add any type of advantage to the weapon i do have one as of right now which is like this autumn camo gives me a lot of vibes from modern warfare 2 so i'm gonna go ahead and slap that one on so the game itself as you can see it's set up to where it's gonna give you so so much to do man so that that really that really did make me happy so when it comes down to how the way the game is set up i like that it gives you a lot of things to do so let's just go ahead and transition on to the multiplayer and i can give you my thoughts on that so when it comes down to the multiplayer you're gonna have soldiers league which is gonna be a ranking system which is pretty cool it's gonna actually be based off your individual performance so if you're putting in work and you're doing really good multiplayer matches your tier is gonna go up so you start in bronze move on to silver gold platinum so you get the idea the game is gonna have its individual ranking system instead of just dumping you in games with people who are your rank sometimes they'll have it to where they can auto balance certain things so if there's a whole team of bronze and a whole team of golds they might switch some of the players over because there have been maybe literally one time where i got auto balance just because the other team was getting gooba stomped the entire time and besides that playing the game the aiming i'm not gonna lie it did feel a little clunky when i first started playing um the aim the running still feels a little clunky to me i like i can't lie about that but after playing for a while i got used to the aiming especially when i bumped my sensitivity up it got really dope and it actually features this weird like resident evil quick turnaround so if you press b and you flick your analog stick down he'll turn around really quick because especially on mobile you were it was very difficult for people to just instantly turn around really quick so they incorporated that um there is no jump button in the game so a lot of people were a little skeptical on that you can jump over things but you can't jump in the actual game so it's literally just from the mobile port and besides that when it comes down to the gunplay and the hit registration um felt pretty nice i didn't really have too much issues with it i didn't really experience way too much lag like you can really notice in a shooter when someone's lagging i can say a good 90 percent of the time when i'm doing gunfights and i'm getting headshots people die there are times when i don't die and i look at the kill feed and they might have two or one hp i'm like dang man you got so lucky but they also were doing headshots to me and a lot of you guys were worried about the performance of the game when i play it can get as high as 60 it'll look really really smooth and then it seems like it mostly stays in like the 40 fps range in a way um 
then whenever there's a lot of people and a lot of explosions, there are times it is possible to where you definitely can experience like FPS drops. Like it has happened to me before, but it was not an every game, like every game type of thing. So that I really didn't have too much of an issue with. The overall stable frame rate of the game is definitely playable. It definitely is. And when you actually get into multiplayer matches, like it, the game looks, I can't lie, the game looks pretty good, especially coming from the mobile version of Modern Combat Blackout. Besides that, the game itself has been a really blast to play. I haven't had a like online multiplayer, uh, like I said, online multiplayer. I haven't had a first-person shooter in a long time that have a lot that have this much customization in it, and they completely take out the the weapon shop that they had in the other game. I remember booting it up on my phone and literally seeing an ad pop up saying buy this new KR 2000 gun or whatever has increased stats, has this, this, and that. I remember doing that, but this game literally has none of that. So that's why it's literally a 20 buck game because it takes all those different weapons, all that different content, pushes it together, gets rid of the pay to win aspect to make it all based on your grind. That is dope, man. I can do nothing but um, respect this dev team for it. I gotta do some more research on Shadowgun Legends because that game is coming out soon. I'm definitely gonna be hopping into that game as well. I don't know if that game has that pay to win aspect, but I'm definitely going to be doing research when that game comes out so I can compare the two. Because if Shadowgun Legends comes out and it's a $20 game too, or it's free, I want to actually compare the two and see what's going on with them. But for the most part, that's all that I have to say about Mortal Kombat Blackout when it comes to the Nintendo Switch. So multiplayer wise, the game is straight fuego when it comes to the multiplayer. The multiplayer is dope. Single player, I do not recommend you buying this game just for the single player because you're not going to be happy. The missions are super short and it's not a butt ton of missions either. So this game is literally catered towards multiplayer. So if you love a multiplayer shooter, definitely give it a try. Other than that, guys, I really enjoy you guys checking out this video and definitely leave some comments down below so we can chop it up. I always leave my Switch uh, friend code in the description. So if you guys want to add me on there, whether you guys want to play some Smash, play some this, trust me. I have never reviewed Smash on this channel, but your boy be playing Smash. So if you guys want to actually add us, uh, definitely, if you guys want to add me on there, make sure you actually add my Switch rank code. It's going to be in the description down below. All right, Switch fam, I'm going to catch you guys later. This is QKG, and peace out.